a very happy weekend to you guys how you all doing trust you all are doing great in our tutorial for today we shall be designing a product level design for a green tea brand just like this and then we proceed to mock it up using our photo p application so if you are one of those still facing difficulties on using the photo p application watch this particular tutorial to the very end as it promises to be helpful to show you how you can mock up your design so easily on the photo p application because once we are done designing our product package on this pixel lab application we shall also be mocking it up using the photo p application and it's very very simple so let's begin our design and as we begin i would like to appreciate you all for staying with us until now but then if you are coming across our channel for the first time please kindly subscribe turn on the notification bell so that you are always informed when we put new content all right so let's begin our design and i would love to begin the design by clicking on these three dots on this top right then i choose image size to set the size so the width is okay 1280 and you need to pay attention on the height the height should be 1700 so that i have your yeah, design size like this then we can even delete this text and proceed to change our background color so we're going to change our background color into this green this light green color we will click on the check mark after doing this proceed to this meter button we are going to select a shape so we can select this square shape make it big click on the check mark and go to your rotation button then you can rotate this to make it slant let's rotate it further to about 15 minus 15 is fine and we position it here like this now after positioning it like this the next thing that we need to do is just to click on our check mark then we go and change the color of the shape into this red okay so let's make the shape big because as you can see it's it's not fitting well so we can position it now like this so this is fine then let's go back to shapes so click back on your shapes and select a circle reduce the size then let's reduce the size to just make it smaller then we'll position it like this copy it once again and position it just like so and copy it position it like this copy and position it like position it also like this so once you are done doing that go to layer select everything and match them up so we are going to match everything together and after measuring everything together, you should go to your erase color, enable it, and it will remove the white color for you. And click on the check mark, and come back to color, enable the color, but then give it a white color. So we want our shape now to have a white color. Then you can use relative position to make sure that, oh my god. So let's just use relative position to tack it on the middle using this okay i think this is fine then we can send it down a bit good now go to layer and just lock it up so after locking it up the next thing that we need to do now is to bring in the essential elements for this design remember we said this is for a green tea level so we are going to bring in some essential elements i'm going to start with this green tea powder so we're going to bring it in just reduce the size position it here and tap to back so i'm just going to tap to back then we 
position it carefully okay fine now go to layer and just lock it up as well then the next thing that we're going to do is to bring in another T element then for this one we're just going to leave it here like this good and the next thing is to also go and bring in another T element that we shall be using so I have this I will leave the link to get all of these ingredients on the video description so kindly check it out if you want to replicate this particular design okay so we're going to place this one here like this and the next thing that I'm going to do is to say bring in another T element and this is exactly the last that we want to bring in for this design so I'm going to bring in this one but then I'm going to rotate it a bit so let's rotate it like this then we can position it here let's rotate it further okay so we can leave it like this now the next thing i want to do now is to go to my text double tap and put green green tea just like this and go to your color and make it black so i've given it so after giving a black color go to your font and let's see if you can have any nice font for this let's first of all try the beavers it must did not work that way so we can try heavy ties it's still the same thing all right let's try archivo black i think archivo black is fine so we can increase the size a bit and go to a relative position centralize it and tap it to the middle and try to push it up a bit and copy it double tap to write natural back so this is just to enhance the natural content of this green tea so we are going to reduce the size and position it here make sure that it fits so well with the first write up so we're going to put green tea natural part so if you can see here we need to also bring in an element a shape that we will use to write the the weight the net contents of this so we're going to select this square and after selecting it we're still going to give it this uh, dark green a this light gray color and we're going to increase the radius to about 30 then we'll bring it down here so let's even make it smaller and just bring it down like this then we can click ok so just make sure that this is centralized to the middle fine now let's copy this text and after copying it we are going to write the weight so this is going to be 50 grams okay 50 grams is small let's just use 100 grams 100 grams and go to size reduce this size so that it fits well into the shape so we have it's a hundred gram pack and with this we are done designing with the designing part part of this green tea uh, lego so the next thing that we're going to do is just to save our design so let's proceed now to save our work as png and as ultra so let's save now it's safe so what are we going to do next we need to mark it up on our photo p application just as i told you guys so that it can look awesome and presentable like this so follow me along as we proceed to our photo p application 
to mark up this design let's go so i'm going to go to my google browser and just type photo p so this is it you just need to click on the first search result and this is the interface that you you will have if you are facing difficulties with this i will beg on you to pay very close attention on how i'm going to mark up this design so i already downloaded the psd markup file it's already on my phone storage that's why i'm going to click now on open from computer so i'm going to open my project from computer then i click on files i go to my file manager my main storage and i have the free chips back packaging mockup psd i have it already downloaded i will share this mockup with you on the video description so you can download or get it from there so let's wait and one thing about this photo piece is that hey guys you have to be very much patient all right you have to be patient with the photo p application so this is exactly how it is and this is for chips as you can see we have some chips here and since our design is for a t level we are going to hide the chips that you are seeing there don't worry it's so easy so what are we going to do once we load it up like this click on this layer so we're going to click first of all on layer then the first thing is that we're going to hide this web tag so hide this web tag we don't need it it's the website where we got the as the mockup so i'm going to hide it simply by clicking on this eye i icon here so as i click on it it has it has gone can you see that so let's go and hide again the chips the chips bow if you check very well you can see something like chip chips bow so we're going to click on this eye icon to hide it also we don't need it so once you click just click once and wait it will go so can you see all we're left with now is our mockup so where do you mark up you mark up your design on place your design here can you see where we don't eat you have something like a small dark circle a small dark square sorry so you just need to double click on it twice place your design here just click on it twice tack, tack, and it opens like this so click back on layer on layer to see where you can place your design so we're going to click now on file and click on open and place so i'm going to go to my files let's check the design that we're just from designing this is it here we're going to bring it in so as you can see we have our design here so what are we going to just increase it in size a bit to make sure that it fits well into your design okay so i think this is fine good so after arranging it like this the next thing you need to do is go back to file click on files and click on save as smart object so click on save as smart object good so they say smart object converted this photo p application really responds fast uh, fast depending on your network or internet connection so if you are facing some uh, difficulties on it loading so fast don't worry it depends on how fast your connection is so after saying smart object converted all you need to do is to click back here on free chips on the first layer so you click back on it and you will see a markup just wait it's going to pop up good can you see that awesome that's so beautiful right good so the next thing we're going to do now is to save our design so click back on fire and export as click on export as png and wait click on png and wait so this is it just click on save you will see a save button here so just click on save this time you follow the tutorial don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more amazing content thank you so much also enable your notifications to get updated when we put new content don't forget to like this particular tutorial and to share it also so uh this 
site says www.photopea.com says you have to watch a small act before you can download all right so no problems at all we're going to watch the act so let's wait for the act we're going to watch it this is part so let's wait in 12 seconds uh markup will be downloaded just be patient download again all right so i already did all of this that's why it's asking me to you know download again but no troubles i'm going to do it so you also can see the results so i'm going to click on download again and it's downloaded let's see how it looks and we're going to click by clicking on open so let's see wow this is so awesome right so our markup for this green tea natural pack it's done and guys this is how you can go about designing a product markup on your pixel lab application then marking it up using the uh, photo P application if you face any difficulties with this tutorial please kindly drop it in the comment section but then don't forget to like and share this tutorial also subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our amazing tutorials thank you so much for watching see you next time